Once the floor is done, that's when the guys can start putting up the walls. And this is where the house comes together just about as fast as they can strap them in and put them into place. As we've said before, having the crane to do the lifting saves a lot of wear and tear on the guys' backs and completely eliminates the need to hand carry anything over the obstacles that you get on a construction site. Now, it's similar to the floor trusses, because the guys have very specific roles to play with each wall that comes off the pile. But then again, each wall is different and has to go in a specific spot on the floor plan to make it all work. Otherwise, your door and window openings may not work out quite the way you expect. Now, each wall panel gets its own unique number during the design process, and then Ted just follows the plan out on site. He straps up each one in the correct order, sends it up to the deck where the guys make sure that it's positioned in the right location. They temporarily brace and pin them to the floor and then work their way around the perimeter. For example, according to the plan, here's 30, followed by 31, 32, 33, and then all the way around the perimeter. Well, the first floor is coming together very quickly. Seems like everything's right on track. Yep, it's going great. Good. So I think part of the reason why it goes so well is that you lay it out at the beginning. That's right. As soon as we have our floor laid, we'll chalk lines where all the walls are going. And then we nail down a, a, a plate on the floor there. On top of that, we'll set our panels. And then once you actually set the panels, um, just temporary bracing, securing. That's right. We'll, we'll stand each panel. We'll nail the, the bottom to the floor permanently. And if it needs it, we'll, we'll put a temporary brace on it. We'll come back later and brace everything up permanently. And I know that there is a certain order that they need to go in to make sure that everything fits correctly, right? That's, that's right. And that's been all figured out back at the shop. Jake has it all mapped out on our plan, and, and all the panels come out in order, so it works really smoothly. So now, I know one of the specific issues of making it work is that there's an overlap where they connect, right? That's right. Each panel top plate overlaps each other to make a solid connection, and that's that's all been figured out ahead of time, too. Now, I know you and Dean talked about this a little bit with the trusses, but the communication, obviously, is very important. Make sure the crane operator knows what's going on on deck and stuff like that. You want to talk about that? That's right. Obviously, the crane operator, he might be 50 feet away from us, so he can't hear us, so we have uh, hand signals that we use to communicate with him. Uh, on the deck, um, these guys have been doing this for forever, so they, they know what's going on, and it helps to have that that order of the panels come off there. So it's just, you could just go falling down the line and it's smooth as silk. Probably the most important thing is to have one person in charge, right? That's right, it helps, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for talking with me for a little bit about yeah. that. That's great. Now, once the exterior walls are set, then the guys jump back inside and they start working on the interior walls. Now, that's a pretty quick process because these walls also are built in the factory. So Ted goes out and he just snaps all the walls, lays down the first plate, and then he numbers those plates to the corresponding wall section that will set on top. Then it's just a matter of matching up the numbers and setting them in place. And the process for setting the walls is a little bit of glue on the bottom plate. They tip the wall up, and then they wait till they get most of them in position before they come back, make sure everything's nice and plumb, then nail it off. 